Well, we've been dealt with uh, some beautiful conditions yet again today. A little windy across uh, southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa. It was a beautiful day, though, to get out into the water. A lot of pools open now. Maybe you're out in the lake today as well uh, with those sunny skies and breezy conditions. Now, on this date 10 years ago, though, as we look at uh, some of our weather history in southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa, we had a record tornado outbreak uh, in the state of Minnesota where we had 48 confirmed tornadoes uh, in Minnesota caused 45 injuries, even three deaths. Now we had three tornadoes touched down in our area, including an EF1 that went through Olmstead County for Rochester. So that was 10 years ago. This date today, we see some sunshine, windy conditions outside. Now we will have some thunderstorms coming up here. We'll track that out in your forecast as well. 84 degrees outside currently in Rochester. Those winds out of the south southeast at about 16 miles per hour. Dew points. So the reason why it doesn't feel muggy outside, it, it feels warm. We feel like temperatures at 82 degrees, but dew points are only at 52, so we do have some dry air down towards the surface. Temperatures continue to be 84 right now in Dodge Center and Austin, 88 in Owatonna, 85 in Northwood and in Mason City. So far today in Rochester, we hit that high of 85 degrees. What are we tracking? Well, warm and windy conditions will continue overnight tonight. I think we're a little bit more muggy tomorrow. I think winds might shift just a little bit more to the south, maybe pick up our dew points into the mid to lower 60s in some areas, and then thunderstorms return Thursday evening. We could even have the threat for a couple strong thunderstorms. So here's what we're looking at. Future track radar quiet as of now. But what we'll be watching for is our next weather maker. Low pressure cold front will sweep across the upper portion of the Midwest. That will bring us our chance for some showers and thunderstorms. So our current setup in the atmosphere, what's happening here and why we've been warm so far this past week or so. We have this upper level trough that's over the western portion of the United States. That's sinking a lot of the cold air from Canada into regions like um, through Oregon, through Washington and California. What's happening then is we have an upper level ridge over the uh, upper portion of the Midwest that's forcing up some hot conditions, though we haven't been humid. Well, we have a cutoff low that's down in the southeastern portion of the country. That's keeping the mugginess down into the plains and into the southern portion of the country. Now, eventually then we'll have a cold front that will move through for tomorrow. That brings with it the chance for those showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon and evening. Now, our severe threat isn't very high. There is a chance for a couple isolated storms being on the strong side of things and our timing wise we're looking at about 7 p.m. until 4 a.m. I think the main threat though will be some strong winds and some heavy rainfall again widespread severe weather is not expected. We just don't necessarily have enough oomph enough energy in the atmosphere for a lot of these storms to be strong. A couple of them could be isolated uh, too strong. So as we move through the overnight hours tonight, we continue to stay quiet. Tomorrow morning, we have things about 10 a.m. up upper 70s, lower 80s. So I think we start to kick up these temperatures a little bit more tomorrow. Highs will be in the mid 80s. Frontal boundary starts move through. Notice Fairmont at 90, Mankato 89, Minneapolis at 89. Frontal boundary starts to slide into southeast Minnesota by about 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow night. We'll have a line of showers and thunderstorms move through. I think we could deal with a couple isolated downpours tomorrow. Lingering showers continue uh, through the overnight hours Thursday and then into early Friday morning. So as we time things out, best chance for thunderstorms from about 7 until about midnight. I think that's our sweet spot for some thunderstorms. Lingering showers continue through the overnight hours. Rainfall accumulations upwards of about a half inch to three quarters of an inch of rain. As we look at the forecast tonight, 65 degrees were mainly clear mild tonight. Tomorrow we'll have that chance for showers and thunderstorms. Actually a pretty decent day until we deal with the thunderstorm chance from about 7 until midnight tomorrow night. 78 for the high Friday, 78 Saturday, more seasonable type of temperatures as we head towards the weekend, still tracking those chances for showers and thunderstorms for Father's Day weekend. I'll do it for your weather authority forecast. Caitlin, back to you.